<laughs> Actually, Richard should be the one uh, to sit here. Um, I'm embarrassed to say that I didn't get to the game until um, right at the buzzer beater of, uh, of the first game. I left my house at 3.15, got here at 7. Three hours, 45 minutes from Alabama. It was an amazing, amazing journey. But uh, it all turned out right. And uh, Richard was the one who prepared the team. He got him into the pregame talk and uh, uh, all the preparations. And so really credit gets, goes out to him getting these guys all ready to play tonight. Uh, <clears throat> I just happened to be able to walk on the court right to, as the game began. But, um, and it was, you know what, we had a 19 point lead and then gave it up and then we got a 20 point lead again. So, um, but that's really the, the, the personality of Columbia. They, I, I, you know, they've come back from so many big leads and uh, teams have come back on them so because they push the ball constantly. And if you let down, let off the gas for just a little bit, they're gonna come back and get you. And uh, we let off the gas a couple of times and, um, and you know we knew we knew that they were going to come out and, and do these things, kind of those things to us. But I thought we did a good job on CJ for most of the time. He was our target. We really targeted him to see if we could slow him down on. Um, their, their imports a horse. He is he is tough. Um, he gets the ball inside. It's automatic. So, um, but again. Uh, Really, I thought we just looked kind of left, took our foot off the gas certain times of the game, and they made us pay for it. But hopefully, we put the gas on right towards the last five, six minutes of the game, and uh, got the gas, got the accelerator on the floor again. Nice to see Jeff out there knocking shots down. He has such a pretty shot, and it's, it's, uh, it's really fun to watch him shoot. And when he gets it going, he really gets it going. Reminds me so much of, I, don't think, I mean, you don't want to, Alan Kardick is a Hall of Famer, so not very many people can be compared to him. So it's a little unfair to compare Jeff to him. But still, you know, I've, I've watched Alan for, for a long time in my career, and just has that same kind of beautiful shot and release and swish into the net. It's really a pretty shot. And, and uh, um, no one compares to Alan, but, uh, he was special. And I think I always call Alan a freak of nature. I mean, no one should be able to shoot the ball. That's freakish the way he can shoot the ball. Um, I mean that as a as a compliment. <laughs> uh, being a freak of nature. I call LeBron James a freak of nature too. So anyway, um, in the, in the uh, top four, I believe, and uh, I don't know if we can move up any farther than we are. Um, I, I will just take a look at what uh, the other teams are, but basically it means we're going to end up playing one of our sister teams, I think, whether it be Magnolia or San Miguel. So those teams are you know, the last teams you want to meet in a quarterfinal series, but uh, you don't get to choose your partners. So, you know, we'll dance with uh, whoever they, whatever dance card we get. Yes. Um, still day to day, he's getting a little bit more movement in his foot, I mean his foot, his thumb. Um, uh, but there's still significant <coughs> swelling and uh, um, he can't grip anything at this point. He can't wrap his hand around anything because his thumb won't close that well. So he's still got a long ways to go. Um, uh, we play on, on Sunday and then uh, then we play again, we'll start the quarters, I guess, maybe on that Friday or Saturday. So we'll see if we can get back in time for the uh, quarters. But right now, he's not available until the Sunday. It was nice seeing Joe out there, giving us a few minutes. I just want to get his feet wet. And then Jared, at the last minute, came up to me and said that he, he might be able to play uh, a few minutes. And uh, so it was just an opportunity to get them out there and get a feel for the game. And, Hopefully we can give them a few more minutes on Sunday, and uh, and you never know, maybe they can make an impact in the, in the playoffs. But uh, uh, we'll see. We'll see. It's hard to not play for such a long time and suddenly 
step in and play in the playoffs. It's a very difficult uh, assignment. So, uh, um, but those guys are veterans. You know, they, they know their body. They know what they can do. Um, so, it was nice to see them out on the court. So, hopefully, you know, they continue to play. We get Greg back. We'll have a full complement of players going into the playoffs. Thank <laughs> you.